So, hey guys, and welcome back to this new tutorial. Um, this will be one of the um, of the next tutorial uh, I'll make for the Xiaomi Mi 9 SE device, which is actually the um, the Gruce or the the Gruce device, which is the mm, brother of the Mi 9, code name Cepheus or device as the call name grass i am matt underscore zero zero one the one of the admin of the mi 9 se global group uh, as per request of um, a lot of people who have tr uh, problems with installing custom roms and modify the phone um, i wanted to give um, a really in-depth uh, tutorial on making all the steps you need in order to actually be able to modify your device. So for this occasion I returned to stock so I totally uh, restored my phone into a totally clean state so it's, uh, it's shut down right now okay it now possess um, you're gonna see give me a sec um, I'm just setting up right now the phone and uh, as you are seeing now in the screen um, I am actually uh, on a really old version <laughs> of the MIUI the 10.3.3 but yeah, it doesn't matter the version because um, as you'll see, um, even if you are on old, uh, on, on newer version, the uh, steps are the same. So it doesn't really matter. So what to do? Um, let's start by uh, if you are using the phone in uh, the phone in more than one month or two months you can now start to modify it. If not, you could actually uh, receive an error when following this guy. It's totally normal. Uh, it's because uh, Xiaomi uh, puts this, um, what's called a counter, that uh, for a certain amount of time, you cannot actually uh, modify the phone in any ways. After the counter is over, you can actually do it. So. That's pretty much how it works. So yeah, what we're gonna do now? Um, you have your brand phone. Why on L? <laughs> Why on L? Uh, Google Assistant enabled. I don't know. You have your brand new phone, not touched. As you see, it's totally new, totally, completely hasn't been modified. It's even bootloader unlocked. Uh, so yeah, the first thing you want to do is going into your um let me put the phone into english because don't really remember the translation of all the, the settings if i can find it <laughs> okay here it is um, let's uh, go with united states okay so you are going to go with uh, in about phone and then tap seven times on MIUI version. As you see, I already did that for my mistake, but that's how it works. Then you have to go to additional settings, go over uh, to the last uh, uh, section and tick developer options. Here you have to tick the OM unlocking feature. Okay, that's the first thing you want to do. Then Go on me unlock status, tick agree, and you have to do, um, of course, you have to disable your Wi Fi. You have to be on 4G for do this, and tick add account and device. As you see, uh, okay, so you, you should see uh, added successfully. So yeah, you uh, you can really uh, see the actual uh, tutorial on to do that here, but uh, yeah, it's just a reference. 
So after you did that, you are ready to go. Um, I suggest you to actually make a full backup first. I already have it in my uh, USB OTG, so I don't really have to make another one again. Uh, but yeah, after you did all these steps, you we can now proceed to the next um, uh, to the next phase, which is more interesting than this one. So yeah, yeah, we, now we're going to uh, reboot the system and we should be ready to go yeah i just forgot to tell you how to actually reboot your phone so in the way in the reboot screen tick tap to reboot and while rebooting just keep pressing the volume down button until you see a, a screen which is called fastboot with this uh, me avatar uh, working under a robot screen and yeah, uh, another little warning is that f in order to do this um, this operation, you need to buy an USB 2.0 hub or an older or use an older PC in order to do that. Because with USB 3.0, the um, operation uh, done by uh, by fastboot aren't possible. That's something probably Xiaomi didn't program it well. So yeah, um, make sure to buy one of those. I already have that. And then you can easily follow the guide if you are still having problems or use an older computer. Yeah, I'm gonna put this link in the description just in case. But anyway, um, in Fastboot, you now need to download some things. The first thing you want to download um, I'm not going to talk about the global group yet, so I'm going to follow the uh, XDA thread, which is this one, and uh, guide you to what you actually need. So, uh, you should go to uh, guides and news and discussion section, or the E9SE uh, section then look for uh, how to flash TVRP and GSI ROMs. Scroll down till you find this file over there, which is the vbmeta.emg. We will need that, so yeah, make sure to actually um, find this link. Or just for ease, I'm gonna put this link over there in the description, so no worries about that. Make sure to download it, I already have it, just download it, and right now we need another thing. We need what's called minimal ADB and fastboot, which is a tool we are going to use in order to operate with the fastboot. Of course, um, I'm gonna link this in the description too. So download this and install it. Uh, I already have installed it, so I don't need to do that again, but yeah, make sure to download and install it. And after you install it, you will have the option in the um, here in the recently added. <laughs> or if you don't see that, just click here minimal ADB. Oops, minimal ADB and fastboot, and you will see this uh, thing. Or if you still are running a longer version of Windows for some strange reason. Just go into um, documents, local disk, programs x86, minimal ADB and fastboot, and here we go. So what we need now is you have to copy your bbmeta.emg, which will actually be on the download here. If I found it, where are you? Mm. Oh, I just lost it. Okay. Okay. Here you go. Uh, <laughs> so you will have this file here. Just stick cut and copy right through the local disk. Program mix 86. Minimal ADB and fastboot. Paste. Here you go. Now you need to um, download the latest uh, TBRP. 
I'm suggesting Red TOLP, which is this one. You find the link in the description as well. Uh, just tick here, then save, tick OK, and download it. After you download it, do the same as per BB Meta, and which is this one. I just renamed it. You should do that too. Rename it and put it here. Okay, so you will have this and this file. Just don't care about this one. This and this one. Okay, perfect. So now we can actually start uh, doing our first operation. The first thing you want to do is you have to unlock your device. It's really important because else you won't actually be able to um, make any of these operations at all. So yeah, you're going to find the link of the Xiaomi Mi Unlock tool. I don't know where did I put that. Should be this one probably. I don't know. Yeah, yeah it's this one. You're going to find the download of this uh, file of this program in the description. You have to psych using your account, the one you used for uh, seeking to me account. It's um, the passage we did before. That's all. Insert your password. Wait a wait a bit. <laughs> the fastboot passage will be done later. As you see, you should see this um, this screen over there. You see unlock will release user data. Just do unlock. Wait a bit. Unlock anyway. Perfect. You should just wait for the um, for the screen. If you are going to see when the counter reaches 99%, you are going to see like um, a number here which says uh, you have to wait other x times. You have to wait till that time actually um, reaches. Uh, uh, else, you cannot do the actual unlock. So. Yeah. After doing that, your phone should be rebooted and should be on a user formatting thing again. So yeah, just wait till the phone reboots again, and then reboot the phone into fastboot once again, and we'll be proceeding to the next step. Okay, so after you rebooted your phone again into t into fastboot mode, we can now proceed with the steps we were doing before. So, we are going to open once again minimal ADB and fastboot, this time for doing good stuff, and we are going to write this command over there. Make sure to write correctly as I am writing right now. So it's, uh, it's a bunch of uh, flags. This one will disable the uh, boot verification with our um, custom uh, file which is the BB Meta. This is the command, so make sure to um, uh, write it as I wrote and to be using CMD, so the command prompt, not use um, PowerShell in any way, so just make sure of that because you can, ac you can also use Android Studio for doing this um, this passage, but as I said, use minimal ADB and fastboot. You should be good to go. Okay, then tick in enter. Perfect. So we have actually um, uh, transferred our um, boot modif modifier into the phone. So now we're going to install the TBRP. So fastboot flash recovery. TVRP.EMG. Why TVRP.EMG? Because you have renamed the um, the TVRP, which is this one. 
you have renamed into tdrp.dmg. If you still have this um, default name, you instead of writing tdrp.dmg, you have to write the full name of the zip. So this one. Or else the, uh, the steps will not work. So if you still have this file, just tick enter and you should be good to go. As you see, it gives me error because in the program cannot find the uh, this zip, but instead he will find this zip, which is with this EMG, sorry, which is this one that I renamed myself. Okay, perfect. So now just tick fastboot reboot, but while uh, you are uh, writing this, uh, keep pressing the volume up button. Tick enter and wait for the uh, recovery to appear. Perfect. The team, this the screen should be um, with this um, with the TBRP um, with the option to install, wipe, backup, and etc. So if you have that, you are ready to the next step, which I'm going to tell you how to in the next video. So um, I'll see you in the next one.